What up my fellow dorks, the Turtle Dork here with a new reaction for you. Uh, this came out a few days ago. This is a new film by Richard Linklater, um, starring Steve Carell, Lawrence Fishburne, and Brian Cranston. And I haven't heard a lot about this film, but I do remember hearing some rumblings about this film uh, being made, because uh, I remember S uh, Steve Carell and Brian Cranston's name uh, were attached to like the new film by Richard Linklater, but I didn't hear much more after that. Didn't know really what it was about, but I'm a huge fan of Richard Linklater. I love a lot of his, a lot of his earlier works. Of course, I love the Before trilogy, uh, School of Rock. I think is an underrated comedy, and uh, he does a lot of these very small, character-driven, kind of niche dramedies. Um, that, that I really kind of like. He, he definitely has like his own unique kind of style and take on uh, on films. And uh, Boyhood was one that he did that I didn't see. I've heard mixed things about it here and there. But uh, I like Richard Linklater. Anytime I hear his name, just off the strength of uh, a lot of the films that I kind of beloved from him, like the Before Trilogy, I'll, I'll always give him uh, consideration for his films. So let's go ahead and check this one out and uh, let's see what he's got for us. You know what amazes me about you? <clears throat> Could be anything, I'm a pretty amazing guy. You turn the keys to your bar over the guy who's asleep on your pool table and then you jump in your car and you drive me to hell and gone and you don't even know where we're going. Ask the question, am I willing to surrender to God? What the hell happened to Mule of the Mall? First class drinker, gambler. I see we have some visitors amongst us here today. We were in the service together with your pastor. I haven't seen these men in decades. They represent a dog period in my life. That went down awfully quick. Drinking for two now that you got old and boring. Shine down the light on me. Because of my son, I came here found you guys. A year ago we joined the Corps, and then two days ago they told me that he'd been killed. He's gonna be buried in Arlington, and I was wondering if you guys could come with me. We sent him off to a godforsaken desert. Why? I'm taking Larry home. With all due respect, sir, he deserves to lie at Arlington. You're gonna take Don back and try to make it fun. You're cutting off your nose to spite your face. Did you look at these faces? They've already been spited. I thought we were going to a funeral. We are going to a funeral. Just looks like it's going to take a little longer to get there. What you going to do? Strap the coffin to the roof of your car? We could do that. Oh, it definitely has really that feel like I was talking about. Yeah, happy childhood. You said that? Yes, sir. If there's one minute that's not too terrible, I'd like to try to enjoy it. This holiness can hardly walk, let alone handle a big rig with a hydraulic lift. This is a rental with an automatic transmission. You guys ready for an adventure? Let's go. I love it. It's like the official scent of the city. Things are coming to your head and out of your mouth. You worry too much. That's why your hair went so great. Could you resist a man in this room? I can attest to that. Be there for your brothers. That's all that really matters. Get out of the way. Okay, you want to play? Let's play. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Tell me, me kid, I will bury your ass. Mueller has arrived. Woo. Wow. That actually looks really good. That looks like a really good kind of feel-good movie, even though it's kind of dealing with some very real and and uh, dark and dark and tragic themes. Uh, with a, a veteran himself losing his son, who was also in the war. But again, like I was saying before, and this movie kind of follows uh, in in those same footsteps, uh, with it being like a dramedy, um, a character-based. Uh, film that has those comedic elements but dealing with some very real themes in it and it seems like this is a movie that's right up my alley those are movies that i really really kind of respond to and enjoy and the cast is great i mean you're combining like 
you know, these these three different characters who look like they're going to have great chemistry, put them on a road trip dealing with this type of story that I think is going to resonate with a lot of different people, especially in this day and age um, where we have a lot of soldiers who are dying overseas. And, you know, seeing that aspect from the father's point of view, who was also a veteran himself, um, you know, this, this movie could have easily taken that more introspective, kind of darker and uh, heavier tone to it. But I think combining it with these comedic elements and really focusing on those three characters um, and their camaraderie uh, together, it, I think is going to really make this a nice, sweet film. It could be a surprise film for me. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but I, I don't know. I can I could see myself really, really liking this film. Um, I'm glad I saw that. I'm really glad I saw that. That looks really, really good. Last Flag Flying. So go ahead and let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks. At Mouth Dork, at The Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am The Turtle Dork. And with that, I'm out.